Thanks for joining me today. I am Jen Lee, and you are along with me on this fantastic journey where together we discuss our pets' health, well-being, and helping them to live their very best lives, plus a ton of other content. I have five rescued fur babies, and they are a big part of this journey as they are either at my feet while I'm creating content or they are the stars of the show like today. So let's meet the five rescues. Let me first introduce you to our deaf dog. Her name is Molly. And Molly came to us from a rescue. She was at a puppy mill and was done with her because she was done breeding. She had about five or six litters on her own. She came to us with almost no teeth and she came to us deaf. She is definitely my husband's favorite. Can we say that out loud? I don't think dogs know the word favorite. She thinks that the sun sets on my husband. So she is in love with him and she greets him every day like is the best thing since sliced bread, and he loves that about Molly. She's a beautiful little thing. She brings us quite a bit of joy as well. Let me introduce you to Brie. This is Brie. We often call her Brie Brie, just because most of our dogs have kind of two syllables in their names, and she only has one, and so we've just gotten to be calling her Brie Brie. And Brie Brie came to us as well from a rescue, but a rescue in Wisconsin. And they actually didn't rescue normally this breed, but they were at a farm. They were picking up some puppies while they were there, and he said, if you want, you could have that other one over there. She's of no use to me. The rescue looked, took a look at her and said, well, what's wrong with her? And he said, she gave me two stillborn pups. He had no use for her. And so the rescue took one look at her and said, uh-oh, this doesn't look good. They were four hours from home. They rushed her to the emergency vet, and she had to have surgery because she had ruptured her uterus in that birth that resulted in those stillborn pups. Uh, she was very touch and go. I didn't get actually to rescue her for quite a period of time because she had so much that she had to go through from a health perspective. She had luxating patellas when we first got her. That is something that we thought was going to be kind of detrimental to her overall, but it certainly hasn't slowed her down. With this great diet of home-cooked food and with a little bit of exercise, she has really come into her own. She runs around. Her luxating patellas hardly ever affect her. Like if she's at a vet, they'll, they, they can manually pop them out of place, but it really is not something that she ever does anymore. It used to be if she would run or jump, she would certainly pop them out of joint. Eventually that gets pretty painful for them. So I'm very thankful that this healthy food and her exercise program and things like that have really helped those looks like you tell us. So if you have a dog with that, please don't give up. Brie has done some wonderful things and she is a great King Charles Cavalier. Let me introduce you to the first Cavalier that we ever had and this is Charlie. Yes, thank you for the kisses. Charlie was a rescue, but a different type of rescue. We found him when we were traveling in Arizona. We were interested in this breed. We had seen some when we were shopping for an RV. Normally these King Charles Cavaliers are extremely expensive if you want to buy them from a breeder and we just weren't in a position to do that, but the breeder had passed away. And so the family was just trying to get rid of these pups. We went over to look at Charlie. He was a little bit of a thing, um, but they did tell us, um, we think he's a little crazy. So we took him anyway, and Charlie is a little crazy. But Charlie is absolutely my dog. The girl dogs prefer my husband. Because of my husband, I think, sits on the couch a little bit more and is lazy boy a little bit more. They tend to like to sit on his lap more. Charlie follows me from the minute I wake up in the morning until the minute I go to bed. He literally goes to bed the last of all the dogs because my husband goes to bed first, takes four of the dogs with him, and Charlie always waits for me. So he's kind of my little dog. He's also the alpha dog in our house, so he is in charge. Charles in charge, <laughs> and he knows it. Um, even the bigger dogs kind of bend to Charlie's will. We have a black lab and a chocolate lab, and the black lab thinks it's his mom, I think. And Jax kind of cleans him and just makes sure he's okay, very protective over Charlie and the other two cat members. So this is Charlie. I think he is super beautiful. Even though he's a little crazy, we like crazy. We love Crazy Charlie. We have several names for our dogs. Do you guys do this? Well, give me a comment if you have lots of different names for your dogs. Charlie, we call him Charles. Mr. Charles. 
Sometimes we call him Charlie, just to give him a little bit of a British accent to his name. My daughter likes to call him Charlie Poops or Sticky Stinks, and my husband calls him Charlie Poo Poo. I don't know why he has so many poops in his name. Uh, he, he poops just fine, but that's just kind of how it works. Let me know what kind of nicknames you give your dogs as well, because it's super fun to do. And funny enough, Charlie comes to all of those names. Let's take get the next one. This is my next baby. This is Jax. Jax is our black lab. Uh, we believe he is a black lab mix. We've been told maybe a hound mix. Um, I'll let you down so you don't have to hurt your hips. Jax came to us from Orphans of the Storm. It's a non-kill shelter and they rescued him from Tennessee where he was at a kill shelter and they didn't want him to die and so we are super thankful for that. Jax is a wonderful addition to our home. He is the protector of our home. He's the protector of the Cavaliers. He sounds ferocious when he barks. Or there's no bite behind his bark. So he's just a gentle soul. He loves our Cavaliers and he loves every member of the family. He's a big, huge love bug. This is Jax. All right, this is my friend Hazel. Hazel is our chocolate lab, and she is also a rescue. She came from a lab rescue. Hazel got a little nervous, but Hazel is the, what we call the enforcer in our house. So if any of the little dogs or if Jax is in trouble, she comes over and reinforces. So she'll either you know put her hand on them to kind of say, yeah, what mom said, or she'll kind of nudge at them like, put that out, make sure that you don't make mama mad. So she's kind of the enforcer. She takes a lot longer for her to warm up to the newer members of our family because she's the oldest member of our family. She's the original dog that we've had. And so she doesn't take to new dogs easily. And she kind of gives a little bit of a hard time until she allows them into the pack. And everybody kind of stays away from Hazel just because she's kind of that enforcer. She's kind of like the mean parent, right? So, uh, but she's gentle. There's, she also has a pretty ferocious bark and people are scared of her when they, when they look at her, but she's actually quite a sweet dog. And so you have now met my pack. I hope you enjoyed meeting my five fur babies. If you found today's video helpful, please click the like button. It seriously helps my channel. Also, you should subscribe as I create new content at least weekly that I look forward to sharing with you. My content also includes other hobbies and adventures that bring joy to life, such as engaging creatively through crafting cards and enjoying the thrill of travel as we explore the United States in our Airstream travel trailer with our five dogs. I look forward to bringing you along this gentastic journey with me. Make sure to hit the notification bell as I will be posting a video later this week on secrets to anxiety free grooming at home. You don't want to miss it. See you soon.